So you start with the 11 inch round balloon, right. and two of these skinny 260s is what they're called there. They're the basic animal twisting balloons. So, first thing you do is you make this bubble here. You make a little bubble like this. Start over. Make a little bubble. I'm going to do it so fast. Okay, make a little bubble like Got that. It. Okay. And you push it inside. And you do it. Just a, keep a making bubbles and push inside. Yeah. Okay. Now, to be totally honest, this probably isn't 100% necessary, but it does help. Right. And then once you have this bubble here, you can pop it off. Now, if you don't want to do this, just get like a, uh, a marble right. or anything round. Okay, now this is the more important part. You make a bubble here, and this is what they call a teddy bear twist and balloon twister jargon. And I'm going to make at least, I'm going to make about six of them. And if this part, I think, would be complicated for the average person to make here. It just is a pain in the ass to learn how to do this. So what I want to do is figure out, get something you can buy at a hardware store that has the same, right. um, same, qualities. same qualities. And the requirement is that it will be kind of this shape, basically, that you could put, that it, it's going to fit into the balloon, and that... It is fat enough that this little ball will be able to rest on it. So the little ball I'm talking about is you take the other 260 and you inflate it all the way, and that ball that we made, maybe it's a marble, you just put it in there like that. And you let the air out. Gotcha. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And this is the where you where you balloon. You take the round balloon and flip it inside out like that. Put the ball in there and flip it inside out. Okay. And then I I put it in there and I twist this part like this. Okay. Gotcha. See how it, the, yep. it, the blue is twisted in the pink. Now when I I'm gonna take this and push it through and grab the the ball right there, and there's a certain sweet spot that it sounds the best, but you just gotta experiment with it. It's like the distance from the actual hole, right? Yeah. Gotcha. And so, you see, I got the ball here. Right. And this part isn't going to uh, unravel because it's twisted together. Now I get this pedal thing that we made, and see, here's a trick. You take this, and you put it in just in the middle of the pedals. Like that. Okay, so basically it's you're sitting. Putting it in from the side, just from the side. Friction. Yeah, you just okay. open it up. Gotcha. And you just stick it in there like that. Okay. And what, to teach this to a non balloon twister, there has to be some other purple thing in here that has these requirements. It'll fit inside the balloon. Right. And you can put the ball on there like that. Right. So now because this isn't tied, I could just pull this and it lets the air out. And I'm gonna flip it back. Flip it back like this. So that's what it looks like at that point. Gotcha. And then I'm going to inflate this. Okay, so around that side. Nice. And then you can tie it here. I'm going to not tie it all the way. I'm going to tie it halfway. So if you want to take this home with you, you could just pull cool. it out, Great. deflate it, and then reinflate it, it. it. And then the other thing is here, I'm going to twist this. Right. Now what I did here, I didn't really hit the sweet spot. The sweet spot's probably about right about here. Okay. And the last thing you do is you twirl this up. And there's, you know, this is just there's Acts no more like to a it. string kind of. Yeah. yeah. And you just literally twirl it. It's not like some weird balloon twister trick. You just <laughs> twirl away. Twirl it anyway. <laughs> the regular citizen style. <laughs> and then the last thing I do is. I tie a little loop here at the end, right. save enough space, and don't make the loop too uh, tight because you don't want to cut the circulation off on your yeah, finger. Sure. And then you wrap it around your index finger like this, and so you you get uh, a torque or a tightness because if it's too loose, it just sounds like that. So you wrap it around a couple times, right. and then with this finger you can go one, two, three, four, five. So after your pinky, you bring your thumb, and your thumb can go.
And then when you're done, just take the loop part and put it around. Oops. Put take the loop part and put it around the knot of the round balloon. Right. And that will that keep. Stores it kind of. Yeah, that'll keep it from unraveling. Gotcha.